Everybody, this is Mike's World coming at you guys with another live interview right here from uh, Jizzy J. We got Jizzy J here and the homie Kills uh, from Duke City Mob, uh, 1706 Entertainment. You know, they got always got all new new music coming out. We got a bunch of new artists coming out from, uh, from the Southwest to the South to the, you know, to the West Coast. A lot of people are popping right now. So you guys make sure you check that out. But th this right here is on a different situation. As you guys can see from the title, Mr. Capone. It's been going back and forth for a few years now, but it's flaring back up. There was a situation at Hooters. And uh, shout out to the city to of Albuquerque, uh, you know, uh, Burke. And uh, Capone, uh, you know, there's a history already. And he said that he came skirting through. He's basically saying recently that he came through New Mexico to Texas. Not a problem. But we've heard otherwise. You know, we've heard that there was a run in in Albuquerque. I want to go ahead and give your guys an opinion on the whole situation on Capone himself. And I'll go ahead and let you guys take the floor. What up? It's your boy Kill. Right here. I know a lot of people have been patiently waiting to know what happened, exactly what, what's going to happen. And people are mad. Some people just don't know what's going on. People are talking shit. But. You know, All right, what's good, Mike? Uh, first, of all, I want to say thank you for giving us the platform. Um, like we were trying to tell you earlier, uh, we want to, we just want to, you know, step up and set everything straight. Um, there was a lot of uh, misconceived words. A lot of people, you know, were claiming that, oh, this is why these guys did this. This is why it happened. Um, that we were SPM's goons, all that. Uh, uh, for me, like I told you earlier. I have nothing against Los. That's my personal opinion. Everybody's entitled to their personal opinion. Um, but this ain't about being SPM's goons. Like I told you, uh, we Burke goons, we Dirty Duke goons, we Alba Crazy goons. And we represent from the north to the east, west to the south, and everything in between. So uh, 
my boy right here, you know, he's from the Sandbox. Me and Kills, we've been rocking out since we were young. Uh, we're from the same neighborhood, you know, not just the same label. Uh, so we know each other on a whole different, you know, level. And we know each other on a, on a very deep personal level. So um, he gave an interview. Someone wanted to interview him in the squad. Um, as soon as they dropped their interview uh, at the hot seat, uh, shout out to the hot seat, um, Mr. Capone, um, uh, Lady Pinks, a.k.a. Mr. Pinks, Lazy Dub. They want to start, you know, trying to send shots from from a distance, not just about the city. Uh, uh, at the Hater World, uh, salute to you, titties. I see you, fat boy. I see all those comments you be saying. You just sent me a message the other day asking me, uh, who are you? So this is who I am. This is who you've been talking with. Uh, they want to assassinate the music and say, uh, oh, Burke music, uh, you know, it's not this, it's not that. Uh, they're tortilla rap, this and that. So I took it personal because this is my guy right here. You know what I mean? So I jumped in and I start trolling them. And um, I start, you know, just hounding them, telling Capone, yo, you whack, you a studio gangster, you soft. I chew bananas harder than you, all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. Now they're getting back at me. And it kind of turns into a little uh, back and forth, a little internet thing. I don't like doing that, so I kind of backed off from it. But then uh, they had uh, Mr. Pink's, uh, Mrs. Pink's get back at me in my DM. And she wants to start calling me a gay cat and all that shit. But I, I'm like a gay cat. I'm like, yeah, you're, you're goofy. You're a real goofball because I did... 15 and a half straight in the joint. Prior to that, I just did 12. I just got off a of paper. Um, so let me fast forward. Uh, we go back and forth. About three weeks ago, I'm pushing through the city. And I see this guy walk by me. He's in all blue. Blue flags hanging. Blue Cortez. Big old Wale. I said, I know there's Sureños in the city. But he stood out. So he's looking at me in my whip. I'm posted up. I look at him. I see him cross the street, and he runs up to a big old group of guys. And I right off to the side, see a 64 tour bus, you know, one of them pink-ass tour buses, an RV, <laughs> and they have it hidden. So I step around, and I want to see whose tour bus it is. And lo and behold, you know, there's Cafoni's picture on the side. So now I pull up. Uh, when I pull up on him, I jump out and I'm like, yo, what's good? You know, and I ain't going to take nothing from this story, Mike. I ain't going to add to it, nor am I going to take. I'm just going to 100% say what happened. I jump out the whip. I'm like, yo, what's good? What's popping? Oh, yo, what's up, my guy? My guy? I ain't your guy, homie. I told him, you don't know who I am? And he was like, nah, my guy, we ain't from out here. I told him, man. I know you ain't from out here, I told him. So now I address him and I tell him my street name, my moniker, which he knows from going back and forth. And then I tell him, Dizzy J. At that time, it registers in his head. He's like, damn, this dude actually caught up with me. He tries, right. yeah, <clears throat> tries to make it into something funny. He's like, damn, you my number one fan. Damn, I'm going to give you a gifter badge. I was like, hey, check it out, dog. You're a hoe. You want to talk down on the city? You want to talk down on the state? Here's what we'll do. Me and you, we're going to shoot the ones. You can let your homeboys record it. I could get my wife. Shout out to my wife, G Lynn. You know who you are. I said um, we could shoot the ones. And uh, I got enough pool with my homies, not with the whole city. But I can go to them and they could go to others and maybe we could squash this. He don't want to do it. His two homies, I ain't going to call them goons because they ain't goons. One intervenes and he's like, oh, you want to you wanna talk about blammers? You want to talk about this and that? I'm like, huh. Preaching a man bag across his chest like he has something. So I'm like, all right. So I go to the whip. I pop the trunk. As soon as I pop the trunk, I hear the door close. Boom. They slam the door close to the room they're in. I'm on the phone with my boy. I'm like, yo, 
he's like, I'll be right there. I'll be right there. I'm like, hey, I ain't leaving this spot because I got them right now. They're in the room. They're looking out. I can see them. I walk up to their tour bus. I was going to go start bombing up on their windows. I was going to go put 505, <laughs> Burke, City, and the yeah. homies go oh, just wait for me. Um, as this is going on. A cop pulls in. And I'm You just went silent, homie. You just went silent. Everything was good until just now. You went silent. Silent just give still? A second. There we go. I think it's just, I think what it is is the, is the signal. But you're good up until right now. When you're at the room. Uh, huh? Gosh. All right. Yeah, so uh, we're at the room. I see a cop pull in. And uh, I tell Kills, I'm like, I don't think they called the cops on me. I just think this popo's coming through. And he's like, nah, they called the cops on you. And I'm like, hmm. I'm like, I'm only one guy. I'm like, why would 12 heads call the cops on me? So the cop goes and he gets right behind their tour bus. Their tour bus is like this. And the cop comes in like this. We have the pictures. You see the pictures. Yeah, you've seen some of the pictures. We have the pictures. Mind you, as I'm doing all this, I'm recording. Because I know they're going to lie. They're going to say this didn't happen. This man's clout chasing. All this stuff. So right. the only time I couldn't record with the video is when he's calling me. I got to just snap, 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 snap pictures. So uh, the cop pulls in. I act like I'm leaving. I go around because I want to tell him, yo, yeah, the cops are here for them or they're not. When I go around, I see another cop pull in. So I go and I pop the hood to my trunk. I act like I'm having car problems. Um, as I'm doing this, uh, the cop goes by and he's like, yo, uh, you having car problems? And I'm like, yes, sir. And he's like, hmm, or are you causing problems? And I'm like, oh, I ain't causing problems. I told him and he was like, all right. He goes, we'll see. And I'm like, yeah, I said, you see my hood up? He goes, yeah, I, I do. He goes, I seen you looking under. Because I seen him coming around. I already know my hood's up. So I'm over there playing the part, looking under the hood, you know, doing what I'm supposed to do. Um, at this time, they go and park the other car by the tour bus. Now they send a girl out. And she's acting like she has a baby. I'm taking pictures. They send out three guys. They're looking towards my car. I'm recording them. I'm taking pictures. I'm like, yo, what's good? You know, I'm yelling out the city. I'm yelling out Duke City mob. Um, they're just looking. Once they felt safe, here they start coming with all their luggage. They're coming from upstairs. We have the video. Not pictures. We have the video. They start coming from downstairs. And um, I holler at the dudes. I'm like, yo, what's good? Let me holler at you, dog. Come over here. Go over there. There's cops over there. You're a sucker-ass dude. Yo, let me holler at you, dog. You know, I'm calling every name in the book. And the video's going. It's recording. They don't want to go. They don't want to approach me. They all run into the tour bus, crank it up, come pass by me. I'm like this. And they're looking at me as they're driving by. So one of them throws me a finger. And I'm just laughing. I'm like, yeah, you're a clown. You got the cops following you. So they go around the building. When they go around the building, I tell Kills, nah, I'm on them. These dudes ain't going to slide through the city. And it ain't going to be all good. It ain't going to be Gucci like that. So I go behind them. When I go around the building, they went around the other side. I'm like, what happened to the cops? I'm like, ah, oh, they're just making sure they left the premises. So now we're getting on the freeway, and I get right behind them. And I'm recording. I mean, I'm on their bumper. When I'm on their bumper, all of a sudden, in jet formation, here comes a blue on my right side, filming it. Here comes a black and white on my left side, filming it. And then one swoops in front of them, and one pulls behind me. So they're like on some militant military jet formation shit with them and they're looking through the back they're over there looking at me through the back you know of, the, of their bus and i'm over there flipping them off and shit 
Uh, long story short, I'm telling him, go, 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 leave, dog. Just leave. Fuck them. They got the hurrahs. Fuck that. And he's like, fuck no. Yeah, so I follow him all the way downtown. When we get downtown, I see the building they're pulling in front of. And I'm like, man, I'm like in my head. I can't believe it. Even I can't believe it. I'm like, <laughs> be bona fide. Get high power. They're supposed to be high power. I know what high power means. Shout out to Billy. I was Somebody's here. calling you right now. They're calling. Just for a moment, yeah. Hey, so let me, I should fix this, huh? Before we continue, or is it gonna keep messing up? Kills. Nah, you're pretty good. I'll try to cut it. You know, what I mean, I'm just gonna have to do a little more editing, but it's all good. No, no worries. Yeah, yeah. So, um, anyways, so I can't believe it. I'm like, man, you know, like I said, shout out to the real HP. I was in Ironwood. I did time out there with the fellas. I recognized the program. I recognized the rutina. I know the get up and I know the get down. I was a visitor in their house. They embraced me. They welcomed me. So like I said, we have no beef with LA whatsoever. We don't got beef with Northern or Southern California. I salute anybody that's about their business. I salute anybody that's with it. This has nothing to do with LA. This has to do with Caponi being a little hoe, a little sucker ass fool coming to our city after he talked all that talk. And then he wants to go pull up in front of the APD, not the regular substation, the headquarters. How about that, Capone? You pulled up to the APD headquarters, dog. I got the pictures. We got the video. When they pulled up, Mike, they had four patrol cars lined up waiting for them. They pulled their bus right behind them. At that time, I was like, yo, there's nothing I can do. But to think. One guy called him out in a parking lot at the Momo, disrespected his whack-ass neighborhood, his record label, and everybody that he's All I said, like, yo, let's shoot the ones. They don't want to shoot the ones. Now I follow him all the way downtown, and I got the proof. I got the video. We ain't going to hide behind this. You're a hoe, dog. From what, hotel? What, what hotel were you guys at? That's what I'm telling you right now. From San Antonio on the freeway near the Denny's right there all the way to downtown. Yeah. I figured they were right there by the airport and shit. Since this is, has come up, he hasn't responded to the people talking shit, to all the podcasts saying something. He hasn't even spoke up and kept it real not one little bit. He's just antagonizing with the New Mexico loves me, New Mexico loves me. That's his whole little fucking uh, gimmick, I guess. You know what I'm saying? You hear know. that? Because Capone's going to watch this. So this is a direct message to you. You're being addressed. These, these bottles are, are calling you on what happened. They didn't make up shit and say they were knocking heads and throwing you guys around. They simply said it was going to go down. They were it, it, it with one man and, and, and his homie. And uh, it, that led to the headquarters. And I know where you guys are talking about. That's probably right there next to that Fed building downtown, huh? That federal For, holding. Dances. That's not my bus. That wasn't my bus. The bus. Okay, you were in a fucking car following the bus or whatever the fuck you were doing. You all got on that bus and went downtown. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, and so that's a little different because he's trying to, him and other podcasters are pushing the narrative that they came through fucking scot-free. The fucking blue carpet was rolled out for them and they didn't have to answer for nothing that was spoken. That's the narrative he's picking up and pushing. Yeah, the blue carpet was rolled out for them. The blue carpet from the APD. You know, they're considered blue. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Well, there are those people, you know, you heard it from the mouth, not from uh, he said, she said, or a photo. And shout out to Hot Cito, but you know, directly from the source, you know, this is you, 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 you're I'm giving these these bottles, uh, you know, giving them the platform. As you guys know, I represent the Southwest, proud to say, I always talk the history of Nuevo, done the uh, neighborhood on Nuevo. It raised me up, you know what I mean? I, I own land. I love, I love, you know what I mean? The familia's there. That's what I represent too. So I'm always going to give anybody, and especially all you youngster rappers out there, people on labels, always reach out to me. I'll always give you, a, you always have a, a voice. If any, any message you want to put out, um, anything that needs to be spoken, you know, I'll do my best to get it out there, you know? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So uh, and, uh, another thing I want to get out there, Mike, is like my homeboy said, uh, Capone, uh, um, rapping Corridos TV, he put out there, like, yo, Capone, please respond because things ain't looking good. Let us know your story. Tell us 
a pony not once has came out and said, yo, this guy, this individual, he's lying. And the only reason he won't do that is because the whole time I'm jamming him up at the Momo and the whole time I'm following him, they knew I was filming him. They knew I had the phone out. It ain't clout chasing. I just wanted to show the world. I wanted to show homeboy. And I wanted to put on for that B team, for all the Albuquerque dudes, for all Mexico dudes, that, yo, we are about that life out here. And if you come slide through, you ain't going to go park somewhere and duck out and think you cool, dog. Because if we see you, other states might not want to handle their business, but we're going to stand on ours. Believe that. And 100. I, and another thing, when, when I spoke up about the interview that, that they pulled on the phone with, with SPM, they decided they wanted to go call me out my name and talk all that fucking reckless shit. You know what I'm saying? They're the ones who, if anybody wanted clout off New Mexico or attention, because they made it a point to fucking come speak on it. I didn't speak on them and just bring them up. The Vato Mo Hustle asked me how I felt about a phone call. It's being <laughs> recorded by the prison, homie. You're recording a prison phone call with your fucking phone. Who's recording? You were the fucking hoodas. You know what I'm saying? So I yeah. said that, that wasn't cool. They wanted to talk pedophile this, pedophile that, and run their fucking mouths about the state in disrespect. Now we're right here. You know what I'm saying? We don't have a platform to jump on and run our mouths like they did. Luckily, you reached out to us, and we got in contact with you, and the radio's got in contact with us, and we've done some wow. interviews because the cities gave us skin on. You know what I'm saying? But we didn't go looking for the radio interview. We didn't go looking for the yes, Get that straight. Yeah, and that's clear. Yeah, straight up. They were brought into the, the whole cloud. People talk about cloud chasing. That fool's reached out so hard to harder to SPM than anyone I've ever seen in my life. Hiring Carolyn Rodriguez, taking her on on tour, fucking over there, grabbing her phone when she's asleep, and all this crazy shit. I hey, that's crazy. Hey, SPM's locked away. He's been. That is what it is. But fucking to be hey over there, fucking brown nosing him. That's crazy. Those vatos fucking did everything in in their possible power. Just to to even associate their name with him. That's what the whole thing was. I, in my opinion, that's my opinion on it. He's been down. They 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 their the mu their music was down, and his music's still doing good. That hate along with the 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 clout that uh, SPM still has. They thought, wow, we'll just do some hating here and see if we can get our name shining. You know, that's my opinion on it. Have a big following, and you hate on individual that comes somewhere. People are gonna tend to hate on that place. People are gonna tend to hate on those. People start asking questions. All those people are not real. They fuck with people like that. They're just gonna be doing what happens. You just start to see. Yeah, yeah. Done stirred the pot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Okay, so there it is. And I'm gonna. I don't know if these vatos want to or not. I haven't spoken on to them yet. But if you guys want to send me any of those photos, uh, you know the receipts. The photo, any of the photos, any of the videos, I can drop them right here along on the corner and right after this interview on the same video so you guys can see that up close, personal, the receipts in your hand. Like homie said, that's why he recorded because nowadays anyone says whatever on YouTube. He wants receipt. People want to see receipts. They want to see that fucking, everyone, everyone's got a camera. They want to see, did these vatos really run? Did they have cops around them? So, you know, we'll go ahead and drop that or I'll lead you to a site that will, one or the other. Down on your fucking podcast, Capone, with all your little fans and running your mouths on us and shit. You've got a little platform, so that's the only thing we're putting these tapes out because you have a big fucking mouth. Uh, and one more thing, Mike, I want to get out there. Uh, two quick topics. Uh, hater world, you're 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 a sucker ass dude, dog. Check it out. You preach all this clutch off. I used to, hey, I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty. I used to subscribe to you. I'm talking to the hater world. To, but you, everyone knows who he is. God, uh, face, titties. You know what I mean? I used to rock out with you, dog. And to I seen your agenda. What you like to do is you like to get bona fide G's, dudes that are solid, whether they're from New Mexico, whether they're from Texas, or from Cali, dog. And you want to pin them. You want to pin them. You want to get them like this, dog. And then you want to sit back and you want to run your little content and run your little fat mouth. That you're a G and, oh, I stand by this. We're by this routine on. But what's going on right now? I just seen your two little homeboys, you know, get into a little altercation. And uh, your guys is most uh, super gangster right now. You know, bona fide out of Pelican Bay. Salute to anybody in Pelican Bay. 
Um, he just got his panties ripped off on live TV and nothing didn't fall out but a vibrator, dog. That's all that fell That's out. Real. Didn't do nothing. But yet, Blue Devil's always running his mouth. Oh, New Mexico don't like us. Man, we got love for Cali. We don't like you. You got a big ass mouth, dog. You know what I mean? So now you could put a face with who you've been talking to. You know what I'm saying? And you know who it is. We Duke City mob. We're from Burke. We're from the Dirty Duke. And if you don't think we're about that life, huh, come slide through, homie. That's all we got to say. That's all we got to say. Yeah. And, uh, you know, as you know, a lot of other uh, content creators, rappers, he's on a lot of shit lists. Shout out OG Big Wicked recently. And, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of real homies, just like you said, they don't like that. They're not with it, you know. Uh, Little Cuete, shout out Little Cuete, the rapper, you know, he's over there calling him a forklift driver and all types of shit. And so what? That's how he makes his money. You know what I mean? You're right, though. He does. He tries to pit people against each other. And that's why he got the name Hater. And also, too, I would like to speak my opinion because it is a big thing on the uh, lefty gunplay. I wanted to make that clear, too, that he did apologize. Isn't that right, Kills? On a radio station, he called in and made an apology. I have the apology. When we, could, we could come back and do another interview about the lefty gunplay situation. And I'll go ahead and uh, play the tape. Okay. So, again, got the receipts on that one. Um, but I want to say one thing, in my opinion. Under absolutely no circumstances... I don't care who you are, where you're from, just being a man. Do you let, this is between the lucky and the lefty thing. Do you let another man tell you, I'm going to work you up, bull, shut up, shut up, you're a dick, dick. Hey, I don't care if Lucky was drunk. I don't care if it's a podcast. I don't care who, what. You talk to me like that, bro, I ain't your son. I ain't your old lady. I'm a fucking man. I have kids myself, you know what I mean? And, and I'm a father. And you you talk to me like that, even alone, just me and you, I'm going to fucking yeah, we can hug it out, apologize, whatever after. But I got to hit you in the mouth for running that mouth. That was my opinion on it, as any man should. You got to draw the line. Once you've been in those situations, you know, where it don't matter if you're in the bathroom. It don't matter if you're on a podcast, where you're at. If another man fucking stands up and says, I'm going to work you out, motherfucker. Well, psh, hey, I'm going to drill you. Hey, you know you know what I mean? Like, to me, I think he should have reacted. Because a lot of people are saying, oh, it's a good thing he didn't. And then he comes on Hater World. I want to point this out. And said a reaction to that. And he said, oh, what was I supposed to do? Shoot him? I couldn't blast him in front of everybody. Oh, but you can still sock him up. You know, that was my thing. I think he uh, was scared. That's my opinion. I'm going to come straight across. I think he was a little scared of Lucky, intoxicated or not. And he just didn't want to take that for that step. That's my opinion on the lefty thing. It's business. Yeah. That is, you know what I mean? And, you know. That's what it is. That that really went uh, viral. That shit was on radio stations, on every platform. For people that don't even aren't even in the street life. You know what I mean? And I I'll, I'm not gonna lie. I watch uh, Hoodstock sometimes. I crack up. Lucky, you know, he's funny. He's a funny bottle. Sometimes I don't agree with everything of what anybody says. I'm sure there's a lot of things I say. Sometimes people don't agree with. As long as people keep it honest, you know, that's the main thing. That's that's what I say. A man is only good as his word. It was not point that buddy up with the thing about new mexico i told somebody on the podcast before is we're not structured like some of these other bigger states you know what i'm saying we don't got nobody telling us what to do so you don't have a group of people that are under one person acting crazy as a group of people you just have a bunch of crazy individuals you know what i'm saying so yeah. think that you could just talk that shit and and maybe get a hold of somebody else or somebody from their hood that's bigger or badder not going to happen not going to happen the only way to fix this is to get at us only way yeah and and i want to say one thing you know i can't like they've said before also maybe little grants and gallop and farmington and maybe other little areas in texas they got they got through maybe they got the pass maybe they they made it through a gas station or a walmart you know i can't speak for baby they got starstruck you know the natives and shit they love to see whoever you know i, I can't say and shout out to all my native brothers out there, all my Navajo people, all my Pueblos, everybody. But um, Burke wasn't, like I said, it wasn't just a fucking slide through. They didn't get that. Roswell, I know for a fact they didn't get that. Shout out to the homie today. Um, so there are certain areas that, that cannot, can't speak for others, you know. And for right now, you got Burke speaking right here on the mic. 
by reservations. We're in the middle of the reservation. We're part of every reservation if you really want to think about it. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Shout out to the natives. The natives have have, have us and we have them. You know what I mean? And, and Amor. And I gotta speak on it. It's just known, you know? Yeah, they're every yeah, that it's uh everyone from New Mexico knows that they're I, I have homies that are Navajo, Hickory, Apache. I always say because I because I'm proud of it, I own a lot of land. You're over by Gaina, La Jara, them deep areas, Tierra Maria, but that little area between um, Española and Gaina, Youngstown right there, that deep area, I own land. And I'm proud of that. I'm proud of the Rasa from there. Uh, would never get rid of that land. Got people from the East Coast offering me fucking 500, 600 grand for it because they're saying that there's oil under it. Fuck no. My dad would roll over in his grave if I got rid of that land. It never happened. So, uh... I agree with you on keeping keeping your land, but to get back to the the lefty gunplay thing. Yeah, I feel I know where I'm from. When you're from a neighborhood or a barrio, they do a thing called ranking you in to right. make scream out or holler out or bow down to one motherfucker or five motherfuckers that you got the heart for it. So I don't know why homie didn't go that route on the podcast with Lucky. You know what I'm saying? I really, I really thought he was about the business. He was talking like he came from them levels, you know what I'm saying? And he's throwing yards and politics and sides and gangs and everything out there. Like, I don't know, maybe there's a role where he couldn't, but I, I don't know. The other homie that pretty much falls under that same rule, probably. I don't know for a fact, but he didn't seem like... I, I heard Lucky say before, clearly, that he don't like fucking uh, Lefty. That's why yeah. he hadn't already had him on before. For whatever the reason, I heard it clearly, clearly as day. One day he was doing an interview and he said, you know what? If I wanted any old clown on here, I would just have Lefty Gunplay on here. So I already knew coming in it was going to be something to see. But they made uh, each other look weak, you know, in my opinion. Here to get here, took off his shirt real quick. There was more to tonight. That's right. That's right. Um. You guys got any new music coming out or anything you want to talk about? Any social media platforms you want to you want to shout out? Uh, me and the boy Jizzy J18 featuring Zia Crash Out is going to be coming out probably in the next week or so. We got a lot of new songs coming. 1706 ENT on YouTube, Duke mm. City Mob on TikTok, all your platforms. Jizzy J18 on the TikTok. You know what I'm saying? Just go go follow us. Look up also all, all my guys are tagged on my pages. You can find them, you find their music, hit us up for merch, do a meet and greet, book us for a show, whatever you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and I got a quick question because I know you guys were once on good terms. Uh, how about King Little G? Do you Are you guys still? That's your boy, right? That's love right there. You guys heard it straight out. So you already know there's a lot of connections. A lot of people have family or go back. Shout out to uh, the homies I want to say personally. Uh, from uh, Young Heartless Crew. They put on a lot of people on that label. Uh, they also have Sureños and Norteños from California on their label. Shout out Conejo from Salinas. Shout out uh, Little Man from Garrity Lomas. And they shoot their videos at Western Skies. And it's another, just a more of a reminder to show that it's all love. You know, nothing but love. Fuck yeah. Yo, yeah. So, just so you guys know, King Little G, like I said, I've seen photos of them together. They've done concerts. You know, you probably expect it to, to continue, you know, reaching back and forth as the music grows, the connections grow, you know. We got a track we're going to drop with them too. There you go. It's all love. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to be dropping this. And um, if you guys want to send me those photos so I can put that in here in the end of this video, I'm going to I'm gonna chop it all up and, and uh, r r chop and screw it, you know what I mean, and uh, drop it, you guys. Let me get this on here. Uh, I want to shout this out to everybody in New Mexico, everybody in, in Albuquerque. We got nothing but love. Uh, we're not up here saying that we're the voice, that we're, we're the big homies, because Albuquerque is not structured like that. We're just one of the many voices of one of the many, many, many city that's filled with generals, dog. You know what I mean? So salute to every hood. And the west side, the south valley, the northeast, the southeast, the war zone, old town, wherever you're at, and Padillas, hey, we salute you guys. We're just out here trying to do the right thing. Uh, we're not trying to act like we're the we're the big homies, uh, cause there ain't no big homies in this city. Filled with a bunch of 
dogs, a bunch of goons, and uh, we all know how to move collectively. Uh, so shout out to everybody in the city. Shout out to Mike's role, because if it wasn't for Mike, uh, we wouldn't have a platform in this state to get these kind of things out here to everyone. Because like the boy Kill said, we don't got the hater world. We ain't got all these other platforms that they have out there that they use. So by Mike allowing us to come on here and uh, get these things out there so that way our truth as a city, we're out here representing for the city. This is the city's truth. So uh, shout out to Mike's world. We salute you and we thank you for giving us the opportunity to uh, get on here and, uh, you know, get facts straight. So uh, big love to you, Mike, and we appreciate it, dog. And shout out hey, to Hey, thank you, brother. Appreciate you guys. And, and The day before, there was a, a new toll that they did of the United States, and New Mexico is the most deadly state in the United States right now. Not that it's oh, something, yeah. to, but we're at the top of the fucking list over Cali, over Louisiana, over all these states. A West. All right. All right. Well, I guess we'll end it up. We'll close it out with that one. Thank you guys for uh, blessing us with your presence, having a good interview. Um, I'm going to go, like I said, set it all up and uh, throw in some photos, some receipts and stuff. I'm out. Ooh, you guys I have a good one.